Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, your girl, Jen No Fi. I miss you guys so much, and thank you guys for coming back. As you may know already, I've started doing brand versus brand or product versus product just to kind of find out what is the difference between these and which will I prefer or which I really like the most. Hey, hey, hey. Ain't nobody but I and for today's video, I said to do Fenty Beauty Precision Sponge versus the Re Beauty Blender. As you can see in these two products, all are all beauty products used in blending out the makeup on the face or actually mixing products or whatever you want to use, do with it. This is my backup. This is the nude one. I picked this probably um early last year or so but um, the one i always use it doesn't have any wear or tear this is the black one which i've used over two years now and just a couple of months ago probably maybe um maybe three months now or four months now fenty beauty was launched and it's owned by rihanna or probably and they came out with their own beauty sponge and it's called fenty beauty precision sponge price wise um, they're roughly the same amount, roughly, but this is actually expensive and uh, this is higher than this. So this was retail at um, £16 and to my surprise, this is actually £13. Like, oh my god, what is the difference? Is it too cheap? Is it too good? I want to put these two to test to actually know which is better are they the same do they feel the same were they made kind of the same what is actually different what make this unique and what make this different and unique as well so guys if you want to know what i think of these two sponges right in front of me please keep on watching okay and roll the clip Thank you for making it this far to see the actual demonstration of these two beauty blenders of these two beauty blenders or beauty sponges in front of me this is the original beauty blender in nude i have the black one probably i'll use it for this video and this is also the original beauty sponge from a fitting beauty this fenty precision sponge is actually different based on the shape as you can see for the packaging the shape is really really weird it's not like something we've ever seen before in terms of beauty sponges it's in this plastic um film it has a really really flat side and a round side as well with like a flat more like a rectangle or T. All these are for blending, obviously. Why the original get a blender is it just run like a hex shape, but instead of being like that oval egg shape, it's more pointed at the tip. According to the Fenty Beauty website about the precision sponge, for you to have a full coverage, maximal blending, you don't need to wet it. You know, we beauty people, we are used to wetting our beauty sponges, beauty blender, whenever we apply our makeup. So it's strange for not to wet another beauty sponge. I'm not going to do what they say. I'm just going to wet these two and I'll be back. Guys, I've actually wet these two beauty sponges right in front of me. Yeah, uh, I'm going to tell you the truth today um this is the original beauty blender um it's black this is my first uh beauty blender ever in terms of this brand this is my first one and this is my first time using it so obviously when you wet or soak these two sponges they actually double in sizes but what i notice is this is extremely extremely soft so squishy like I don't know what to describe it. If I can remember what I can use to describe it, I will tell you guys. But this is actually really, really soft. So I can't wait to put this on my face. But this one is soft, but it has that... It's still hard. Like, this is this is softer than this, guys. This is, this is not hard, obviously not. But it still has that texture of hardness, a bit of like a sponge feeling around the obviously surface of this point but this is very very smooth very soft and squishy is it squishy squishy whatever but very soft and squishy like you can see the way i'm doing it that is just so see this one actually pressed first before these they watch again i'm going to press these two at the same time so you know three two one 
So I'm going to put the tip of this beauty sponges and I'm going to squash them together to see if I'm going to reach my thumb at the same time. So let's go. Wow, you judge for yourself. So I'm going to apply concealer onto my face and then I'll use the beauty blender. So guys, I've actually applied my concealer. I use the Elegant Fawn Concealer first. You know, I always apply two coats of concealer. So this is the first part. And I'm going to blend this side off with the beauty blender original first. So we, let's go. I normally use the tip side to blend literally any of my concealer. <laughs> For the first one minute blending, obviously I'm used to this um, beauty blender in blending my concealer, so it just feels beauty blender. It just feels the same. It's blendable. It's very easy. You can actually excuse in to go into places you want to go, like such as towards the inner part of the high and out again. I'm used to this, so I know how it feels, I know how it blends. It blends the way you want a oh, beauty blender to be blend. blend. It is bouncy, obviously, because I'm doing a tapping motion on my face. And we just literally blend it one side. I'll be going over with the Fenty Precision Sponge to blend the side of the face. So like right here, I don't know which side to use first. I'm just gonna use the flat side and the tip for this face, so let's go. First, like, I am doing a tapping motion like I did on the other side. It's not buzzing off right now, it's sticking to my face. Like, I am kind of tapping, so it's sort of bouncy and come back. It's actually, like, not wanting to go up. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Because of the softness it had, like, it is super soft. Well, it is blendy, as you can see. It's so soft, it's blendy, but the only thing I don't like is as high I'm blending this face, because I'm using towards the tip side, it keep having this shape, like this um, edges on my concealer, like the shape, like each time I remove it, I can feel the imprint of those edges on the face. So with that, I don't like. So I'm going to put on my second concealer now and maybe I can use the other side of that uh, Fenty sponge to blend, maybe, but we'll see. <laughs> second concealer applied to my face and this is my last concealer as well I use the MAC NC42 concealer it's actually like that because I want to bring the my face out if you know what I mean so again I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend this side out as usual and this is really really good because of the pointed side it's easy I just put it right then and start blending away so there's no imprint of any like pointed side on the face because it's actually blending itself out this is still good this is okay like I don't know what else can be this yet but I'm gonna try this then I'll find out but yeah this blend my concealer really well without leaving no imprint of any shape. Right, I used this side for the first concealer. I was thinking, should I use this side so I don't get that imprint, but again, I'm gonna get this dirty. So, let's see. So, just to be fair. So, right, with this, oh God, this is so soft, like, okay. I am using the back now to blend. This is super soft, like I said, like, um don't know how many times i'm gonna say this it is blending just like the beauty blender i think it's best to use the back to blend your own the eye concealer because that in that way you can't see no imprint of any shape because the back shape or edges is really really smooth and round and curved but the front bit which obviously is the flat side the edge of it is really really flat and sharp so why blend it with the front bit it actually leave the imprint of the edge on your concealer on your face but if you use the back bit to blend which is the round side um it actually blends it flawlessly without leaving no imprint what i wish the original beauty blender should do to change the texture of this sponge to this one because this is super soft like i super soft this is soft but it's be rough but this is soft and smooth 
silky is the word so guys next i'm gonna use these beauty sponges to bake my face i always do that whenever i put my concealer however i'm not going to be contouring with a cream today even if i do i use brushes to blend it out the powder i'm gonna be using today is the rca main low color powder on my right side of my face which i use my beauty blender to blend my concealer out i'm gonna be baking so i use a tip as well for blending i will use it to apply my powder just underneath the eyes that i baked earlier on okay obviously uh <laughs> So I don't know what side, this at this point, I don't know what side to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the back, which is the cover side. So as you can see, the softness of this precision sponge, when you pick up your product, because it's a smooth and um, soft um, product, it will smooth out the powder. But I know the life. Like sometimes when I do my contour and finish my face, I just want to give that cut um contour cheeks, and I always go for like a flat um sponge to cut my contour. But with this everything in one, I don't need to go for that flat sponge anymore. I'll just use it to contour. For the sake of today, I'm not contouring, but if I have to, I just do like this and cut my contour. You see, that is so precise. This is why it's called precision sponge because it will actually precise the line and all you just need to go is to go forward. And it's actually big for you to hold a grip onto. Anyway, I don't do this. I only do it when I wanna give that cut to my contour. So guys, just sit back and relax. Let me finish my face and I'll be back to give you my verdict of what I think of the beauty sponges. So guys, you watched it. You see, actually, I used these two beauty sponges to beat this face right here. I use this for this size and also I use this for this size. And they actually, to my surprise, they actually work the same. First of all, obviously, I explained this in the video. I used this first and it gave me a bit of the edge imprint on my face, which I didn't like at first. But when I used the back of it, I literally called the curve side back. So when you use the back side, it actually blends properly. It goes into the place that I wasn't expecting it to go, such as my under eye like really deep. I also used this in baking and it came up perfectly. It made the powder so smooth and milled on my face that like I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh my god, really? But this, I'm not saying this is bad. I've been using this for over two years and this is good, it's still good. But the thing is that I just realized that this is not really as soft as this is. Initially when I bought this, I thought this is the softest beauty point ever made, whatever. But when this came out, like in terms of softness and feels and body wise, this is the best. Like, it's so soft, smooth, like the body is so smooth, like see, so squishy. But this is soft as well. When you press it, it's a bit, it burns your hands off quickly. But when you press this, you it doesn't bounce your hand off quickly because it's so soft it's trying to get its body shape back but you can also use the flat side to layer your foundation on your face i personally don't use um beauty sponges to put foundation on my face because i don't feel I don't feel like my face does not really work with it. I don't know if you can understand me. So people do, but me, I don't really feel it. I always go ahead with brush just to blend everything out. But anyway, in terms of concealer, yes, this is perfect. It blends really is is like the bad, the OG of blending. And this came to oversee this, but also it got close to taking this down, but it didn't. So I about give this 10? Like there is no, there's no one is good at the order or one is bad and this one is good. They both the same. Thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the little tutorial I showed you guys. And if you haven't watched my previous video, what are you waiting for? Please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. This video a thumbs up. Leave your comment below. Subscribe to my channel and come back for more. And don't forget to watch my previous video. You know, I'm just going to put somewhere in the screen so you get to know where it is and until there guys i'm gonna see you on my next video so bye and peace out